Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. This is Matsek. We are back with another video, New York Flankies from Triacme. This room is all about first need to make use of Oracle padding vulnerability and decrypt the token to get credentials. And using that credentials, we need to log in into website to execute commands. By this feature, we can get and shell access. After this, using a Docker breakout privacy technique, we can escalate to root and get the flags. So that's being said, let's get into hacking. First, let me start my VPN. So sudo VPN. We have connected successfully. And then I have already created New York Flankies uh, directory on my track me root directory. And then we're going to start with our nmap scan nmap sc for default scripts, sv to enumerate version t4 for speed up the scans and we need an ip which is this and pasting it over here and we're gonna save it as our normal and file as initial after a few minutes we got an N nmap scan results in that port 22 uh, ssh is open and then 8080 which is http is open so first i have to try like uh, i just wanted to try with the um, HTTP, which is 8080. And I can see this. There is a blog. If I click that, I couldn't get anything in admin page. Mm, admin, admin, like admin pass. So these are all default credentials. So I have tried all the default credentials, but it didn't work. So I have to search for the alternate method. So after that, I even tried to uh, check this uh, PNG image, whether we can find anything interesting in this. Uh, but we couldn't, unfortunately, we couldn't find anything. So after that, I saw this uh, thing, which is Stephen uh, test uh, page, which is a uh, debug.html. In this, when I click um, view page source, I see an interesting uh, parameter, which is this. So it's, it needs to be like a localhost API debug and this. I'm just copying this and our page should be API debug so I'm just checking whether we have something here but we don't and what I'm gonna do is um, API debug and then I'm gonna paste this um, thing a token which we have copied from the page source enter and it shows custom authentication is success after seeing this i got an idea like even we we can see here that is fixed verbose error padding so that means uh, i think we can check like oracle padding exploit so there is an hack tricks page i'm just clicking that and if you see here there is an padding oracle so when an application decrypts uh, encrypted data it will first decrypt the data then it will remove the padding so during the cleanup of the padding if an invalid uh, padding triggers a detectable behavior you have a padding oracle vulnerability that means when there is some errors like if you see uh, what they are saying is um, so if you see it's giving an uh, output which is custom authentication success but if you change something here like you will be getting decryption error so using this we can um, find a way to decrypt this token and get a credentials um, for this we there is a method to use this uh, pad buster and i think this might take a long to decrypt so what we can do is this tool to oracle adding exploit so there is a uh, padri a tool called padri so i just wanted to uh type like padri it have tool you see here there is one first uh, link which is blazing fast advanced padding oracle so it is a very straightforward way to install this tool so it's like when uh, if you have a go installed in your system it's just like a one liner you have to copy this and paste it into your uh, terminal so i have already installed padri in my system so if you ch check here padri h help 
So those are the things which is required like URL is required and then we if you give an error uh, pattern that uh, checks the error pattern and match according to that and have to give the encoding uh, to apply the binary data which is uh, LH, uh, LX, the lowercase x so this is the thing we have to give now um, so these are the required fields now what we have to do is battery URL which is uh, this we have to copy this and paste it over here and then we have to give e is lowercase x and then after give the thread as 60 and the error will be this decrypted a decryption error we have to paste it over here then we have to paste the string which is this just double quote paste the string and enter um we have missed something which is you okay uh, so we have to give the uh place where to um put this token so this is the place enter so this might take some time so please wait so after a few minutes of running this tool we got the credentials so this is the credentials so what we have to do is um, we have to copy the password and the username is stephen1197 so let's move to the login page which is stephen1197 and password is this okay um we have successfully logged in i think yes we have successfully logged in we got the first flag here and then i think we can execute command like ls okay um id so if you see here what what's happening here is the command gets executed um but you're not getting any output we can also check that by um, we can add us on server with the port two six zero two, so we can curl that. This is the IP. I'm just calling that. Oh, so I think we have to. Oh no, this is not the port. It's six zero two. If you see here, we are getting the um, request from the mission. So I, this command is getting executed, but we couldn't see. So what we can do is um, we'll create a bash shell. Um, so just copying the bash shell from here. This is the hack tools, which is very useful for the CTR for any uh, end test stuff. So I'm just copying this bash shell. I'm going to open mouse pad shell dot sh and we have to first make a bank which is bin dot bin slash bash and then we have to paste this shell here and save this and then what we have to do is we have to start our python server then we have to curl this so this is the port and now we have to type um shell dot sh and we have to save this into temp dot shell dot sh so what we are doing is we are calling this uh, shell dot sh and making an output into the mission um, into the folder temp dot shell sh so we are going to submit this okay it is submitted successfully then what we can do is we have to give uh, execute access to this file so chmod x so we are giving execute access then okay it's done then we can just type bash and we have to start the uh netcat listener so which is the lv np448 so that is the port we are using in the shell so this is the port we are using the shell i'm gonna summit this great we got a shell access 
we type ls id we are root but we couldn't find anything on the root flag sorry we couldn't find anything on the root if you see here there is something uh which is mentioned like dig around the containers so that means there is docker running in this machine so what we can do is we can check for docker images that is docker running yes that is docker running if you check docker yes this is the mission currently we are in okay now what we can do is i'm just like to run a uh, first tell in piece so that it will be very useful for us to find what and all uh, things we can use to privilege escalate mm. okay I have the lint piece file in my cd opt in piece and just gonna start the new python server which is 222 and now we have to go into this you get http the ip we can copy from here paste the ip and then the port will be 222 and link sh enter we have downloaded successfully now chmod x in piece we are giving execute access to the file and then we are executing it piece.sh this might take some time so please wait after a few minutes lint piece has been completed so we'll move up so here we can find the the second flag which is in the path um in the environment path so i just found this so if you go below there is rock mounted yes and if you see in the interesting files mounted there is um run docker.sock which we have a uh, read write access so immediately i thought to check for um uh, docker talk exploit so there is a docker breakout privilege escalation i just wanted to click that if you see here we have to find the file whether we have this on the mission so we'll go below before that let let us uh make this shell stable python the import pty and i spawn bin bash and puts okay done then what we have to do is we have to export term equal to x term this makes us to execute all the commands like clear all the things and then we have to background this and we have to again take this on foreground enter now our shell has become more stable so after this um, what we can do we have to paste this Thing which we have copied from here copy this and paste to find the file we have this here if you copy this and check for the access and let's la paste it here we have a uh, read write access that's good um so after this what we can do is we can uh, run this script to bypass and get access to the uh another mission with root privileges so um, copy this let us open the g edit we'll paste this here so we want privileged access which is privileged access not this one this one copy i'm sorry so we have to just to this and we want a privileged access privileged access so what we're doing is we are uh, mounting this root directory into the host um, and the docker images you have to put the docker images 
So this is the image we are running currently now. We can use this to get access. So what we can do, yeah, we just have to paste this here for the mission. And we are doing a ch, ch, ch root. And then again, we are uh, giving access to this host in the bash. So just wanted to do it in mount, not in host. We have to create a new, I mean, new directory for host, but we already have a mount. We'll copy this. Go into our mission and enter this. Great. Now we are successfully root. If you ls this, we have a flag.txt. This is our final flag. So what comes this? We have 70. So at last successfully we have rooted this box. So this is the easy way to root this box. If you like this video, please share and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Have a great day, guys. Happy Sunday.